Idea Shop 6 shows you how to outfit a full-on woodworking shop in one year by budgeting $150 every two weeks. That's 26 paychecks. Here's the empty space we started with. After some cleanup, we start with a basic toolkit with wrenches, screwdrivers, a tape measure, safety gear, and the like. Then, with the first $150 budgeted from the first paycheck, buy a circular saw, some spring clamps, a sheet of plywood, and a sheet of foam insulation, and make these straight-line cutting guides by following the plan at woodmagazine.com slash ideashop6. You'll have some money left over, so put that in a jar to start saving for bigger tool purchases. Two weeks later, all of Paycheck 2 gets put in your savings jar. But build this handy crosscut jig that guides your circular saw when cutting lumber to length. When Paycheck 3 rolls around, you'll use your crosscut jig to cut the one by lumber for these folding sawhorses. Buy a cordless drill driver for driving the screws to assemble the sawhorses. Then, with the fourth Paycheck, add a few clamps, sanding drums for your drill, a set of drill and driver bits, and build a couple of jigs from scrap plywood to use with the drill. One is for sanding curves, the other for guiding the bit to drill perpendicular to a surface. There should be a bit of money left over, so again, put that in your bank. Idea Shop 6 continues to take shape as you budget $150 every two weeks for a year to outfit a full-on woodworking shop. With Paycheck 5, buy a jigsaw and the lumber and plywood to build a sheet goods rack. Building it gives you practice using your circular saw jigs, cordless drill, and new jigsaw. A lot of Paycheck 6 will be banked after you buy the 2x4s and plywood to build a wall rack for storing sticks of lumber. Pick up a level 2 to help install a lumber rack properly. Paycheck 7 and some of your savings buys a combination router kit. Then build a router table that straddles the sawhorses. This whole router table assembly stores in very little space against a wall. Replenish the bank with most of Paycheck 8, but first buy a router bit and build a simple jig out of scrap plywood that helps you cut precisely sized dados, a basic joint that you'll use a lot. Idea Shop 6 continues to take shape as you budget $150 every two weeks for a year to outfit a full-on woodworking shop. With the ninth budgeted check, pick up a set of aluminum bar clamps and the materials to make a wall hung rack for all of the clamps you've accumulated so far, plus those you'll buy in the future. As always, bank the leftover funds to build the nest egg for a big purchase, which comes with Paycheck 10, a new table saw. Before you get it home, stop at the office supply store to pick up a couple of drafting triangles. These are great helpers for setting up your new saw precisely. With Check 11, add a couple of table saw accessories. A thin kerf blade that helps your saw run easier and wastes less material with each cut, and a push stick to keep your hands a safe distance from the blade as you push stock past it. Because the saw is the main tool in a wood shop, use Check 12 to buy more accessories for it. These include a dado blade and the bits and materials to make zero clearance inserts to fit around the blade. An insert like this gives you cleaner cuts and prevents narrow and small cutoffs from falling into the saw. We've now reached the halfway point of outfitting Idea Shop 6. Most of the 13th paycheck, with $150 budgeted, goes into your savings jar for future machinery purchases. With a bit of plywood, build a crosscut sled for the table saw. This jig carries pieces past the blade, providing greater stability during crosscuts. With paycheck 14, build a similar sled, but this one helps you cut precise miters, and buy a random orbit sander and some sanding disks. Paycheck 15 buys a shop vacuum to help clean up all that sawdust you're making. You can also fabricate a connection between the table saw and the shop vacuum to collect dust while you work. Also build a couple of squaring jigs that will be very handy when you begin building cases. Paycheck 16 purchases a set of chisels and the materials to make a workbench with wall storage behind it to organize your growing collection of tools. Pretty much all of Paycheck 17 goes into your savings fund, but you've got to have some shop time, so use some string and a few scraps of hardboard to make fairing sticks that will help you lay out smooth curves and arcs. With the saved money and the $150 from Paycheck 18, purchase a jointer. This is the first half of your one-two punch for dressing lumber. The other half, a planer, requires saving up some more money, so it comes several paychecks down the road. With Paycheck 19, purchase the materials to build a flip-top bench. It's the perfect place to mount the jointer and planer. 
You can leave one side open to use as a work surface or mount additional tools as your collection grows. The bulk of Paycheck 20 goes to the savings fund after you spend a few dollars to build a wall storage panel using perforated hardboard. It's easy to configure and reconfigure the panel as your needs change. Idea Shop 6 continues to take shape as you budget $150 every two weeks for a year to outfit a full-on woodworking shop. With Paycheck 21 and your set-aside savings, purchase the second half of your lumber preparation duo, a planer. Working in combination with your jointer, you can now dress rough-cut lumber. That means you can purchase less expensive lumber in a wider variety of species and ensure it's flat and square. Paycheck 22 buys a pocket hole jig and the materials to build some base cabinets. The pocket hole jig makes quick work of building the carcasses and face frames. Building cabinets will improve your confidence in the shop, create storage, and they can serve as the base for more work surfaces. With Paycheck 23, buy some more lumber and plywood to build a set of wall-hung upper cabinets. Most of Paycheck 24 goes into savings, but spend a few bucks to make a wall-hung panel for storing frequently used items close at hand. We're down to the last two paychecks in the year-long journey of outfitting a full-on woodworking shop by working within a budget of $150 every two weeks. With the next to the last check, buy materials to make a bigger, more robust router table. You'll appreciate the larger table surface, the built-in storage, and the convenience of having the router mounted on a removable insert plate. With the final $150 amount, purchase a portable dust collector and a flex hose and fittings for attaching it to tools. You'll be amazed how this improves the air quality in your shop and reduces cleanup chores. Although that's the end of the year-long quest, there are still plenty of other tools and accessories that will make work easier, faster, or more efficient. Find details about some of these choices at woodmagazine.com slash ideashop6. Now, here's a look at how Idea Shop 6 has shaped up over the last year.